And we're joined now by Trevor Singer, another of the fantastic members of the NSCAA 30 Under 30 program. Trevor Singer, an assistant coach for Greg Andrulis for the George Mason men's soccer team. And Trevor, thanks for being with us here on NSCAA.com. Thanks for having me. Obviously, it had to have been a thrill to get the call to be a part of the 30 Under 30 program. Talk about that call and what it means to you, Coach. Absolutely. Uh, it was a great honor, very humbling, and uh, I'm excited to be a part of it. I'm excited to work with NSCA and meet some people and learn from different coaches. And uh, It was a tremendous honor for sure. All right. Uh, obviously, by way of Rochester, you grew up in Philadelphia. When did the coaching bug hit you, and how did you know, hey, I want to be a coach. I was actually um, during a practice when I was in college, my senior year. I looked at uh, Sam Koch, who's still at UMass, and uh, he says, "What do you want to do, Trevor?" I said, "I want to be a college coach." He said, "You're sick." <laughs> <laughs> and I said, "Oh, that's what I want to do." And then uh, ever since then, I mean, this is what I've been doing. So, what aspect of coaching do you like the most, Trevor? Uh, you know, I like having an impact on, you know, people's lives. You know, like Sam Koch was a bit, had a big impact on my life. Um, I believe that I'm who I am today because of him and what he told me through the sport of soccer, and that's what I want to do for other people. So that's the one big thing. You know, I love the sport, obviously, but uh, the biggest thing is having an impact and, and helping people grow as individuals. That's that's my uh, my most uh, thrilling thing for me in this sport. Yeah, who are some key people that have impacted your life? You mentioned Sam Koch. He may be number one, but uh, uh, it's your chance to talk about uh, the people that have played a role in, in you becoming a coach. Yeah, I mean, um, Sam was obviously a real big one. Um, my club coach, Alan Greaves, is a big one. He uh, He's had a ton of experience all over the world. Uh, he's a very good friend of mine. I still talk to him often. Uh, he was the techno director for the British Virgin Islands, and um, now he's back in Philadelphia being a tech technical director at a, a club uh, in the area. And uh, Pat Laughlin uh, definitely uh, had a big influence. You know, he gave me uh, my first full time assistant coaching job at University of Maine. Uh, Dave McWilliams at Temple, obviously, he's a still really good friend of mine. I still talk to him as well as Pat. Um, he, I, he coached me, actually, in ODP back when I was in high school, and I still talk to Mac very frequently. And um, so, and obviously, uh, Craig obviously has had an influence on me in the past uh, two years that I've been here. And so, you know, uh, those are the guys that have mostly had the biggest impact on me in, in terms of uh, getting into coaching and all that kind of stuff and um, made me want to do what I'm doing right now. We're here with Trevor Singer, the assistant coach for George Mason University and part of the NSCAA's 30 Under 30 program. And Trevor, one of the sort of core principles of this program is to find young coaches that can blaze a new trail for coaches even behind them. As you think about that mission, it's a big one. How do you feel about that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, it's tough to get into college coaching specifically and um, I know the barriers that are, that are, are out there and, uh, you know, I want to help people be able to get to where they want to do it. You know, and I, I'm a strong believer that if, if this is what you really want to do, that's what you should go after and whether it's in coaching or something else. And, you know, so, um, I, I experienced the barriers and stuff. So I'll, if this is what someone really wants to do, if one of my guys that I've coached wants to do this, I'm going to do whatever I can to try to help them to get to that point, you know? So, uh, you know, it's, it's a phenomenal, very rewarding career and uh i'm all about trying to help people to uh be a part of it if that's what they want to do and what about what you want to do five years from now where do you see trevor singer uh, i i would prefer to like to see myself uh still coaching in college um at what well, i don't know either at you know i love george mason so i mean right now i'm, I'm very excited about the the team we have and the team we're going to have in the future I see myself um either being here or at another program depending on the situation you know and uh still being really involved with uh youth soccer I coach at DC United right now I used to coach at uh, FC Delco it's another uh aspect that I really like because it's you know it's a kind of a 
a different experience working with different age kids and stuff. So um, I still see myself doing the same thing. Uh, if it's at the same place, I don't know. You know, there's, it, it changes just how every job changes. You know, it might not be here in D.C. area necessarily. But uh, right now I, I love what I do. I love uh, the D.C. area. I'm working with Mason and Greg and um, – DC United, so you know I'm, I'm real content now. But uh, you know, who knows? Maybe it's a different college soccer program. Maybe it's a different club. I I don't know. But uh, I see myself still being in the college game, still being very involved with it, and and moving forward like that. Well, indeed, and it's clear that uh, you definitely want to learn and grow, and that's what this NSCAA 30 under 30 program brings. Uh, Trevor, it's got the mentorship program, it's got the online resources, it's got the convention. What part of the program are you most excited about, Trevor? Um, I'm very excited about the mentorship piece of it. Uh, I've taken all of my um, NSCA courses except for the master's diploma, which I'd like to take at some point. Um, but I have my premier diploma. Um, my premier diploma was awesome. Probably my favorite course I've ever taken, even compared to the, the federation courses. I met a lot of great people. I learned a ton of stuff, and it was just a really good experience. Um uh, so I'm excited about, uh, for the most part, the um, mentorship piece, just because we can bounce ideas off each other. I get to meet other people and stuff. Obviously, the convention and the other piece of, um, you know, getting to take courses and stuff is tremendous. But, you know, I, I feel like you learn the most from talking to people and meeting people and stuff. You get different perspectives and because and, they come from different experiences and backgrounds. So I feel like that's for me, is going to be the uh, biggest piece of my development, you know, meeting a new person who's older and had, had different experiences and stuff, and hopefully we can learn from each other. Finally, as a coach, you got to deal with the ups and downs of victories and losses. George Mason just gets ranked, tough game against Virginia. How, how do you deal with that? Because one of the key things as a coach is keeping the players upright and putting it behind them and learning from it and moving on to the next one. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, they, they feed off of you, you know, a lot of uh, – Coaches say that your team reflects the, the head coach. You know, your, the players reflect the head coach and the, and the assistant coaches kind of, you know, they take on the personality. And, you know, we looked at it as Virginia's a fantastic team. And uh, we were disappointed with our performance. Not so much that, um, you know, they, I give them total credit. They did real well and they played well and they have a great team. We didn't feel like we did or played as well as we could have. We didn't feel like our guys worked as hard as they could have. And so, but, you know, we take it as it is and we move on to the next thing. And, you know, it's uh, not something that you can dwell on because if you do, then you're going to just hit a little bit of a roller coaster downhill if, if you don't get over it. But, you know, it's like um, my Alan Greaves, one of the guys who's a big, big, big mentor for me, uh, he always says, he says, don't marry football because it always ends in divorce. You know, <laughs> so um, it's, it's a good learning experience for them, uh, and uh, we take it as it is. We we can't get better unless we lose. So we look at it. We take the things we can and the goods and the bads. And we improve on the bads, and you know we move on to get better because that's the only way we're going to improve and get better and get to where we want to be. So um, you know, it, it, overall, it was it was a it was a good to see that because we hadn't lost and we'd only been scored on once, and it was a PK. So we hadn't been scored on the run of play, and. Um, you know, it, it, they're a very talented team. They have a lot of athleticism, very technical players. So it, it was a good experience for our guys at the end, for sure. And no doubt about it, Trevor Singer also growing every day. That's why he's part of the NSCAA's 30 Under 30 program. Trevor, delighted to get to know you and spend some time with you. Congratulations on all your success. And uh, we'll see you at the NSCA convention in Philadelphia, your old stomping grounds. How about that? Absolutely. I'm real excited about it. Thanks for that. I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, nice talking to you guys.